If you are asked to represent something in sigma notation, then what you do is you just put the sigma symbol, you put k equals to 1 down here. If you know how many terms there are, then you could put that number up here. But if they just give you something like this, then you just put an n over there. What you now need to do is work out whether this is arithmetic or geometric. Well, it's 1, 2, 4, and 8. So it's definitely geometric where they are multiplying by 2. So what you do now is you get the TN formula of a geometric sequence. And so A would be term 1, which is a 1. R is 2, and then N minus 1. So this 1 over here doesn't even need to be there because that doesn't really do anything. So it's just 2n minus 1. You then take this tn and you put it over here. But don't write it as an n, rather leave it as a k. The reason is, is that these two always need to match. And that is it. That's how you represent something in sigma notation.